The thing about battery electric vehicles is that they're all pretty much the same and giving you a good amount of performance and then that's about it. Compared to an internal combustion engine which can thrill you with its engine sound and engine character, battery electric vehicles don't really have that and that leaves the manufacturers with very few options to entice you with. Now Volvo has figured out that their strong point is going to be design and this C40 is kind of an example of that philosophy. It is based on the XC40 recharge and in the next few minutes I'm going to tell you all about this car. Welcome to Auto Day, my name is Abhik and welcome to our first drive review of the new Volvo C40 recharge. Before I go ahead and tell you about its performance, I think it's important to address its design because this being a Volvo, it really exemplifies that minimalistic design philosophy. Especially if you take a look at the front, it is identical to the XC40 from the bulges on the bonnet to the closed grille to the LED headlamps and the signature DRL. It's unmistakably the XC40, which is a good thing because that's a good looking car. You come around to the side, Obviously the 19 inch wheels take up a little bit of your attention, they are sort of aero optimized, pretty much closed uh, throughout except for these 5 slats for a little bit of ventilation for the disc brakes. But it's the rear that really distinguishes the C40 from the XC40 recharge especially because of this sloping roof line. Now the roof line is like a sports coupe and in an SUV. We've seen examples of other cars before, people have loved this design and well, it does look really, really attractive. These two spoilers that you see at the back are aero optimized, so they are functional and the signature Volvo DRL uh, look to the tail lamps, again, are very identifiable for the brand. All in all, this is a gorgeous looking car, especially in this compact dimension. I mean, design wise, there's really nothing to fault with it. Volvo loves to keep things subtle and understated so the interior of the C40 Recharge doesn't wow you at first look but you'd appreciate the fact that it's made with recycled materials and is 100% leather free. Details on the dashboard and door pads depict a topographical pattern of the Swedish landscape and is backlit while the cabin that's mostly grey uses brushed metal highlights as surrounds around the infotainment and aircon vents. The infotainment is a 9 inch portrait oriented unit and is an Android based system powered by Google thus Google Maps is the default navigation system and is projected on the 12.3 inch instrumentation as well. Both screens are crisp but the layout may seem boring with its overly simplified look. The 360 camera with selectable views is a great idea, the execution of which however is a bit lacking as none of the angles make gradients very clear. There is a massive panoramic fixed glass roof with heat and UV reflection to keep the cabin cool while the occupants will remain comfortable in the seats albeit the rear passengers especially if they're tall may find the headroom a little restrictive. The occupant in the driver's seat however won't be complaining much as the C40's stupendous acceleration will take away all their attention. 4.7 seconds to 100 km per hour from a standstill is mighty quick for a regular passenger car, but that's one way that EVs can entice you with. 78 kilowatt hour battery pack and two motors make for an all-wheel drive format that grips the surface underneath and along with electronic wizardry and a 40-60 power split, it makes the C40 thoroughly enjoyable to drive. 408 horsepower and 606 Newton meters are impressive figures and a claimed WLTP range of 530 kilometers is very reasonable too. Then there is the impeccable ride quality that stays pliant on a variety of surfaces barring really harsh and broken roads where the suspension does tend to run out of travel and crashes on the bump stop. The brilliant suspension is also responsible for the C40 sporty handling that keeps the body roll in check around corners and offers oodles of grip making the C40 recharge immensely enjoyable to drive. So having driven the C40 recharge now I can tell you that it is a very very impressive car overall. Starting with this beautiful design with the sloping 
roof line. This looks more like a sporty hatchback than a coupe sort of crossover uh, SUV thing, if you will. Uh, then there's the performance. It is a fast car, so it accelerates really, really well, goes really nicely around corners. The handling is very balanced. The ride quality is very good. The only sort of compromise that you kind of make is uh, the sloping roof line takes up a little bit of headroom at the rear and a little bit of boot space as well. But then again, the interior is very nice and comfortable, has modern amenities that you would expect from a modern car like this. Now, tell us in the comments below if you'd pick the C40 over the XC40. Are you a more practical sort of user who would pick the XC40 or somebody who's chasing a bit of modern design and you would then be uh, well uh, enticed towards picking the C40. Also remember to subscribe to the channel and that was our little review of the new Volvo C40 Recharge. The prices are going to be out in the second week of September. Our guess is, is that it will be very close to the XC40 Recharge. So let's say about 56 to 58 lakhs X showroom. My name is Abhik. That's all from my side now. And I will see you again later.